Hey, what's up guys? Devin Trent here, founder of Feel Good Fitness, and today's topic is running form. In this video, I'm gonna show you why I suggest a midfoot strike when running, opposed to heel strike, and a simple drill that you can do to ensure a proper midfoot strike when running. So, stay tuned. Running is just a faster form of walking, right? Well, not necessarily. One important thing to remember is that running is very similar to a jump. Or more simply put, just having both feet in the air at the same time. But when walking, that's not the case. One foot is in the air while the other foot is on the ground. Notice how you naturally walk with your heels touching the ground first. And also notice how you naturally jump with the middle of your feet touching the ground first. And this is why I recommend a midfoot landing when running. Because both feet are in the air at the same time, you want to land on the middle of your feet instead of landing on your heels. Landing on your heels when running is like landing on your heels when jumping. Go ahead, try it. Try jumping in place. And instead of landing on the middle of your feet, as you would naturally do, try landing on your heels. I'm sure you felt an uncomfortable shock run through your body. I know I did. And that's what happens when running with the heel strike. When you land on your heels like this, it causes the shock that runs from your shin, up through your knees, and up to your hips, which over time will cause pain and discomfort. Believe me, I know from experience. I used to have a pretty bad heel strike. And that's why I recommend a midfoot landing when running. It allows you to run with your feet under your center of gravity, prevent injury, and just have a better overall running experience in general. Now for the drill. A simple drill you can do is midfoot hops. This will allow you to get used to landing midfoot by creating neuromuscular pathways. You simply hop in place on the balls of your feet. Then you start to hop one foot at a time then gradually move forward and go into a run. Last thing, be careful not to land on your tippy toes. It's okay for your heels to briefly touch the ground after landing on the middle of your foot. So there you have it. My comparison of why I recommend a midfoot strike over heel striking and a simple drill that you can do to ensure a proper midfoot strike when running. If you're interested in more free drills to help increase your running performance, download my free training series by clicking this link right here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video or know someone who might, share it on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this link right here in the video. Hey, y'all like my new camera? The last video, I shot it on my cell phone. I got 1080p on the back and I got 720 on the front. I shot it with the 720 so I could see myself. But uh, this new camera, real nice. In this video, I'm gonna show you why I practice by clicking this link right here. <laughs> no. This is a shock that runs from your shin up through your knees and through your hips, which over pain will cause crap. <laughs> when you land on your heels like this, it causes a shock that runs from you. And subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this link right here. Stop looking at the camera, yo. Stop doing that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this link right here.